All right, welcome to another simple engineering snippet. In this instructional video, we work an example to calculate the heat addition during a quasi-equilibrium isothermal work process. Uh, we will be using a piston cylinder apparatus. The working fluid is air, which will be treated as ideal gas. And we will be using conservation of energy to determine the heat addition necessary uh, for the change from state one to state two. I hope you find it instructive. Okay, again, we have a piston cylinder apparatus. Uh, the working fluid is air, and we're going to be treating it as an ideal gas. And the conditions at state one are provided. We know the mass, we know the pressure, we know the volume. And at state two, it's a, well, the same mass because it's a fixed mass system, and we know the volume at two. And, well, we want to find the heat addition from state one to state two. Assumptions. Well, we'll be assuming ideal gas behavior for our working fluid, the air. And we're also going to say, well, there's no system kinetic energy changes and negligible changes in potential energy. And let's dive into the equations. Well, it's an ideal gas, so we have the ideal gas equation. Uh, pressure times volume is equal to the mass times the gas constant for air times the temperature. And we also know for an ideal gas that the change in internal energy is equal to the mass times the Constant volume, specific heat times the delta T, change in temperature. And we will also be using conservation of energy, which is the heat addition minus the workout is equal to the change in internal energy. Again, let's define our thermodynamic system. The thermodynamic system is going to be the air, which is shown inside the, uh, the yellow dashed lines for both state one and state two. And let's review that this is going to be an isothermal process. Let's dive into that because that tells us that the change in temperature from state one to state two is equal to zero. Going back to the change in internal energy for an ideal gas depends upon the change in temperature, which is zero. So yeah, the change in internal energy is equal to zero. Going back to conservation of energy, I get the right-hand side is equal to zero. So the uh, heat addition is equal to the workout. So our job is to find the workout from state one to state two. And it is going to be positive because it is lifting this weight. And uh, so we're going to get a positive workout. So that means that we are going to calculate the uh, heat addition into the system. Well, how do we calculate? Again, it's forced through a distance. Uh, we don't really know what the distance is, the change in distance is between state one and state two. So we need to find another way. One way, well, by finding the integral from state one to state two of P dV. Now we can't always do this, we have to be careful. Uh, we need a quasi equilibrium process, which we have. So this is going to allow us to do this to find the work out. Again, work is not a property, uh, it is path dependent. And so we actually had, need to know some details about the path. If it's a quasi equilibrium process, uh, we are able to do that. Okay, well, let's dive into that. So again, uh, our ideal gas equation will come in handy because we'll solve that for the pressure and substitute that in the integral and obtain that uh, the reintegrate from state one to state two of MRT times changing volume over volume. Well, the mass is constant, the ideal gas is constant, it's isothermal, so the product MRT is constant, so uh, we can pull that out, carry out the integration, and we get that to work from one to, from state one to state two is equal to the product MRT times the natural log of volume two over volume one. And what well, we have volume two over volume one. So uh, let's see if we can find this uh, product MRT or at least a workaround. So, well, we know the temperature is constant. We know what the temperature is. Yeah, maybe we could get clever and look up an ideal gas constant. But, yeah, it turns out we don't really need that because we know that MRT is equal to pressure times the volume. We also know it's constant, as we stated earlier. And we know the pressure and volume at state one. So we can substitute that in to our equation for work. And there we go. Uh, before we move on, let's do a dimension check because we're expecting... Something that calculates work, which has dimensions of energy. And again, pressure is energy per volume times volume. So that gives us energy. So uh, that's a good. So let's substitute in the values in the units. And we obtain that uh, the uh, workout is 38,451 Newton meters. That's good. And we already knew that the workout is equal to the heat addition, which is what we're looking for. And so the heat addition is 38,451 joules.
All right, so this has uh, turned out to be a pretty straightforward example. It did give us the opportunity to uh, uh, review how we can determine to work for a quasi-equilibrium process. Hope you found it useful. Thanks. Have a great day.